Coming up on the show today, I'm going to take a look at just what makes beer so special. For centuries now, us Brits have been enjoying a traditional pint of beer. In fact, not so long ago, beer was drunk instead of water as it was a safer option. Whatever your level of knowledge or interest in the world of beer, you've come to the right place because today I'm joined by two experts. Kevin, Annabelle, hello, welcome. And we're going to delve into the world of cask beer. So what is cask beer? Cask beer is very different from other types of beers such as lagers or stouts. Um, the product when it's brought into the cellar, is it, it still needs some work doing on it, which is what the conditioning process is. The main thing to remember is cask beer is a living product, it's unpasteurised, and the cellarman or the publican has to create some naturally occurring CO2 within that beer. Okay, so how is cask beer made? We've got four main ingredients. We have hops, malted barley, water and yeast. Now every grain of malted barley contains a huge amount of fermentable sugar. So that malted barley is ground up, mixed with hot water, and then the liquid that's produced is drained off. This is called wort. That wort at the moment does not contain any alcohol. But as soon as we start adding yeast, and then we add hops to add aroma and bitterness, so some more flavour to that beer, that's when we produce a cascale and it's racked off into a container and sent into the pub where the cellarman finishes the process. Where we then enjoy it, perhaps with some lovely food. Now, Kevin, I understand you've done some really interesting work in exploring the world of food matching with your beer and you've unearthed some quite interesting things. Yeah, I think the thing to remember with... Um uh, food and beer pairing is that there's no right and wrong and it's just about exploring the complex layers of flavour which are present in lots of the fantastic cask condition beers we've got in this country. So if I'm in the beer garden this summer and I've chosen a very pale hoppy beer, what sort of food would I enjoy with that? Well traditionally we'd serve something like a pork pie. If you were going to take the Ducas for example, which is an Indian pale ale, um, it's um, mildly hoppy um, it's got a, a, a rich multi flavour uh, with a lovely crisp finish, uh, great as an aperitif. But we'd also look to serve it with something with natural sugars within the product. For example, we're going to serve it today with our Shetland organic salmon, which again, once it's seared and cooked off in a really hot oven, the natural sweetness of the salmon comes through and complements the Ducas fantastically with the, the sweet multi flavours within the beer. So what do you both think to this whole notion that actually beer is for the older gent, it's a man's drink? I think that really is a myth actually and if you look at the massive variation in flavours there really is something for everybody in every genre, any, every age group within uh, cask beers these days. And if we can quantify that by saying the number of female cask beer drinkers has doubled in a year to 1.3 million, we actually know that more females are enjoying it as a drink. And perhaps you yourself are the face of the future of the beer drinker, being the only female UK beer expert. Hopefully. Thank you both so very much. If you want more information, do have a look on the website, chefandbrewer.com. For now, though, I think we're going to stay behind and we've earned ourselves a nice pint. Yeah? You in? Oh, Good. Yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>